Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Eel. I'm Serious Safety, and I'm in an unusual position. I don't find myself in all that often. Where I need to squeak in a Neo video to keep my uploads going, uh, and don't intend to do a long session. I keep running into that with Red Dead Redemption. Like, let me squeeze in, like, a video, maybe two, just so that, uh, you know, it buys me another three days of my upload schedule. This game, usually, like, when I sit down, I play, like, a fuck ton at a time. Which is smart in this game, because it's... You kind of need to get in the groove of gameplay. Uh, this time I'm trying to squeeze in one. I might have to get in more than one. It's not going to be the end of the world if I do. I wish I had time for a longer session of this. I kind of don't. So last time we kind of finished the story of Siege of Osaka Winter, but we've still got uh, other missions we could do. For example, Crimson Will, which appears to be... Me not knowing what buttons to switch. Which appears to be... Uh, the last main story mission we did with the different different rewards. Sparrow flies again, which may be a whole new map. Dance of the Yokai, which may be a whole new map. Gunryu. So it says he's a lakeside Gunryu. Gunryu is some guy calling you out for a fight. This is the one that I'm really kind of nervous about because it seems like a, some unknown quantity of Date bosses that want to come out. Oh, wait. We already did this Dance of the Yokai. Never mind. That's not a new mission. So we've really got two. We've got some kind of boss fight, some kind of super boss fight, and then some kind of regulation mission. And, uh, of course, we haven't... Um, I didn't actually save there. We uh, could also check the hidden tea house to see if we've earned any new goodies. Uh, from the passage of time and clan wars where I contributed some stuff. Yeah, up clan battle results. Let's receive past rewards. I imagine they're not that fantastic because we didn't do that much. Most unfortunate result. I lost. Did I get any individual reward? I didn't see how much clan or glory I had first. Well, one of these I shouldn't get anything because if two sets of battles have gone down since the last time I donated, that means I, for one of them, I didn't donate anything. So I got nothing. My camp won, but I got nothing out of it because I didn't contribute, I guess. So trade-wise, I've got over 100000 I mean, I feel like that's what it costs to buy... Um, transformations for like regular characters were in like single digit thousands maybe double digit thousands and it was hundred hundred thousand plus to get the ladies so if another lady transformation appears I'll probably wipe out my balance only well no we got Maria but now there's some other spooky chick has appeared so we'll see what that's about Ah, uh, William. Great work recently. Thanks in part to your efforts, Sanada Yukimura has withdrawn into Osaka Castle and peace has been made. That blasted Sanada Maru is to be torn down as well. However, as soon as the work was about to begin, strange warriors appeared blocking the process. They may be remnants of the Sanada forces, but where did they come from and what do they hope to achieve? Sorry to thrust this on you, William, but can you find out what is going on? Well, we'll get young samurai locks out of it, so sure. So yeah, this would be us playing through that map again. Uh, probably a shorter subsection of it with slightly different arrangements of the things that block you. Like, it might be all above ground. Actually, I wouldn't mind that. If this is an above ground only version of that mission, I'm really tired of caves. That'd be cool with that. But we'll see. Well, we're certainly starting above ground. Now I am way out of practice, but I at least know to get my buffs applied. Cause I'm buffing on the stuff, and ladies can't get enough. I see some kind of elite warrior man. And they took the sorry ass out. Sorry, elite warrior man. I'm not an elite warrior man. Hey, who's up, Ninja Dog? Oh hell no! What up, Ninja Dog? Here's something I'll have to face once. Okay, 
totally misunderstood his pattern when I decided that that would be a good moment to attack. go down you're like a weeble wobble okay that took everything because I'm a little out of sorts but it's easy enough for me to hit the Kadama shrine all I've got is one ninja dude and all what up Nintendo and I'm right back where I was and um, my Fond, fond wish from my childhood to emulate another human being. Sorry. My fond, fond wish that this is just the above ground version of that level with no tunnels might well be coming true. It even seems like some enemies that I figured would respawn didn't respawn. Weird. Okay, I'll go with it. Now there's either Kadamas hidden around this mission, which I wasn't paying attention to, or there's going to be lots of Kadama shrines, which I guess is possible. Oh, we're going to fight the, the Sonata the Six. The big, the what's hot amongst the Sonata? Are we taking them on again? seems like it. Oh, hell no. What up, Nintendo? I'm sorry to do this against the Nintendo. Jeez. Not a lot of overkill. Every time I try to take an elixir, I'm punished for it. Yeah, it's not gonna let me take the freaking elixir. Well, I mean, you're fighting a bunch of guys in close quarters and they've all got range. That, uh, frustrating. Frustrating, guys. Frustrating. Let's see about getting that lost uh, spirit back, and if we get in any kind of trouble at all, we'll run like cowards and go for the um, go for the summoner's candle. But for now, I feel like we can get back to the, where we were. It's the same shit. Those dogs wouldn't let me use an attack. Every time I went for an attack, they hit me with something ranged. Sent me into a freaking overkill before where I decided to do, um...
spam this. Or spam this, that's the actual term I'm gonna use. I gotta try to take this guy out before his backup arrives. Because his backup is gonna piss me off. Because he should be far easier to kill. Alright, now I can get back to this guy. Okay. Did you see Nubushiga's braver to the end? Well, I'm glad to hear it, friend. Meantime, I um, need to uh, open this door that should be over here and hit this um, Omeo Shrine. And then I need to see how much time is left in the video because I did a terrible job of actually figuring out the start time. And I got another 20 minutes to go, so we're actually... I mean, obviously, you know, yeah, it's not good to die. The day is far from over. But I, um... You know, I've got my corpse and my Amrita back without using a summoner's candle, so it kind of feels okay. I, um... Got... I used a, um... Uh, guardian Spirit with way more easily and, than I would have done so under other circumstances, but, um, in fact, uh, there's some people whose entire playstyle is based around using Guardian Spirit all the time, and I don't mean the little talismans which I was abusing, I mean the actual, like, you are invincible for a while, Guardian Spirit attack. So I've got the audio to the Another one where I really need to be moving with greater speed because probably more guys are going to come now. Of course, you know what I could be doing here. Ah, he's getting shot. Damn! I'm suddenly just getting completely buried in the projectiles. What I was attempting to realize is that I've got some range of my own. But don't sit there in melee range and use it. Those guys are the little snake head jumpy outy attack. Hey, I did not switch targets. Screw you, game. Oh, I didn't know there was a. Probably should have used this a while ago, actually. I know that doesn't leave me anywhere useful, but... Oh, come on! I, I thought I had him there. Now get away from the next blast, yep. Okay. Hate you guys. over now. I know I wasn't killing them fast. It's entirely possible there's a bunch more to deal with. Oh, there's a bunch more to deal with. 
Matter of fact, the music suggests the real threat is now here. Oh yeah, you are the real threat. This guy's not the real threat. So I just got a regular old spirit guy who's going to be a pain in the butt to get to. I just need to kill him. Anything to do it. Concentrate on you, but I probably don't want you to get real close when I'm first figuring you out. Okay, that wasn't actually what I meant to do. I meant to do the slowdown one first, but this is the basic strategy. I guess he is going to be a huge pain in the butt, I can tell. Oh, he's... Oh, my... He's alive. What a jerk. What a jerk being alive. I don't even know where this other guy is coming from. Trip up the one I meant to. Oh, that could be it for the whole stage if it's a little short stage. Oh. I guess that was it for the whole stage. Was that supposed to be, um. Was that supposed to be, uh. What's his name, um. Shingen? That would have been, uh... <laughs> Shingen probably deserved better than to, uh... Just get constantly tripped up with a trip you up token, but, um... Maybe that was supposed to be Shingen. At any rate, this isn't a particularly long level. If I got really good at it, which I doubt I will, uh, it wouldn't be a bad one to grind on. But I think I'm actually done grinding. I think I'm as leveled up as I need to be to actually win the DLCs, even if it's just by the skin of my teeth. So a group of spirits dressed in red armor are putting a stop to the process. That means either some of Yuki Mura's followers transformed, or the spirits of the Tagara clan have, been ris have risen from their deathbed to aid him. Should the Tagara of Kai return, us followers of the Tokugawa would be put in a dire position. Anyway, thank you for your kindly for your assistance. So yeah, it's supposed to be Shingen, all right. Because um, we're a puppet of the Tokugawa or the Sanda or whoever he thinks we're a puppet of. So if we go through our uh, inventory... Probably we want to go through the... Let's see here... Newest and... Um, I don't know if I can get another one of those. So I would lock it down. That one's not... Neither of them is part of a set, but hey, that's a, uh, a Shingen hat. How often do you get a chance to get a Shingen hat? Um, as far as items go, there's... we Oh, we've apparently been picking these up along the way and not noticing. 
So I've got young Amio Mages Lux, young Samurai Lux, or Master Samurai Lux, young Samurai Lux, and young Samurai Lux. That gets me to plus eight, which means I may now have enough skill points to... Indeed, I can now... Um, I can now do Deadly Eye, which it adds plus three to ranged attacks. Saving up two more points would give me weapon attack plus four instead of plus two. But I think getting plus... This is like, this is your basic point sink. Because this just keeps leveling up forever. You can get higher and higher version of these skills. But um, that's like if you get the locks from now on. I think I'll just put everything into dexterity and keep increasing ninja power. Don't have enough uh, Amio Mage points to do anything here, I don't think. Unless I'm mistaken. We're probably saving up to have enough to just max out our uh, resistance against, like, Earth or something. And then ninja-wise, we ain't got no points, no way, no how. So all that's left to do in this zone are uh, some kind of boss battle of some kind, it looks like, and some kind of boss battle for sure. And none of them involve getting any more of the little green fellas. So I'm going to call this a video, and no, no, I can't call it a video yet, too. This is a, we actually, uh, that didn't take as long as I was expecting it to. I guess we could at least try to figure out what's going on with Ganryu. Simply said, see you at the lakeside, Ganryu. Some foolish rogue wants to have heard rumors about you and send a challenge to try the luck. We're so close to restoring peace. So maybe this will be a quick short mission, or maybe it won't. Time we prefer secluded areas in which to do little such as fields and by lakes. Instead of resorting to arguments, they let their swords and techniques do the talking. Those who choose the way of the samurai can never cease sharpening their skills and must repeatedly throw themselves at the fires of battle. Sounds pretty neat. Okay, well, this is a bit, oh, it looks like we're going to have the duel from Samurai Showdown. Oh, it is Kojiro, the, uh... Comes across as, like, a mime-faced joke in various, uh... Samurai Warriors games. Well, this would be a fast... This is a super cheap way to do it, of course, but... At this point, I'm just trying to end a video. Just for variety's sake, let's set him on fire a couple times. I never quite poisoned him. Alright, good job. You managed to hit me. Just, despite my super cheese tactics. Because I just got bored with them. Alright, well. Boy, there's not a whole lot to uh, the remainder of the DLC. Obviously, the Date battle will be some kind of recycled boss fight that I'm not sure I'm ready for, but... My fear is that it's you taking on the giant centipede boss and Masamune at the same time, which I will not be able to handle. Cool beans, buddy. So... Originally in Samurai War, uh, Samurai Showdown, with no W in the word showdown, uh, or Samurai, I suppose, uh, Takabana Ukyo was kind of this guy, because Homaru is based on the on um, the guy we've already found in this game, um, whose name I'm blanking on, although I can see like every Kawaii version of this character, uh, but I can't remember his, his, his name. 
but Homero is based on one of these two great famous, you know, it's a famous samurai duo. I don't know how famous some of these things are. Neither samurai were that famous for what they did before the duel, but they're super famous for the duel. And um, the character that Homer is based on is he, he showed up in Samurai Warriors game starting with like Samurai Warriors 2 and then Kojiro Sasaki I guess is the one they threw into um, Samurai Warriors 2 Champion Edition Turbo or whatever they called it um, Extreme Legends I, I guess and he had like he was like a clown faced demon ninja although he appears in uh, he does appear as like a non-playable bodyguard slash occasional recurring villain character in Samurai Warriors 2 Masamune no, not Masamune. Um, Miyoshi? Musashi. Musashi Miyamoto. Brave Fencer Musashi. That's who he is. Uh, yeah, who Brave Fencer Musashi is. Extremely loosely based on, obviously. Homer is based on Musashi. Uh, in Samurai Showdown, originally, it seems like Takabon Ukyo is going to play the role of being um, this guy, Kojiro, because he fought with an Adochi. Adachi. Probably pronouncing all these words wrong. But then um, they kind of brought in Genjuro, Kabagami Genjuro, to be the ultimate rival of Homaru and downplayed a strong connection between Homaru and Takabo and Ukiyo going forward. And I don't know what I'm doing other than vamping for time to make the video go 30 minutes. A samurai wielding Odachi, you say. That must have been the renowned swordsman Sasaki Kijiro. I've heard much talk of how smoothly he handles that gigantic weapon as if it weren't part of his body. They say that ever since he lost a duel to a master swordsman, he has wandered the land seeking even stronger warriors of challenge. Well, that makes sense. He, he lost. So he's trying to find guys stronger than the guy who already kicked his ass. I imagine he has much to contemplate once again after fighting you and witnessing your technique. Yet with the peace within our well, yeah, with peace within our grasp, I wonder what will become of those who seek to continually hunt their skill as warriors. Well, hopefully they'll find demons to fight, you know. That's usually the way of things in these series. Did not appear to have picked up any new um, items of the type that I would need to give away to, uh, or rather consume, like, locks. They are to be consumed, after all. No. I'm not trade. Uh, it's the clan battles menu. Donate, that's where it is. Okay. So, newest. Okay. Alright, so now I'm on all items newest, and, um... Some really high end stuff, it just doesn't belong to any sets. <sighs> Plus, dude, that's probably better than the Kingo's armor I already have. I can't imagine myself ever using that set again. Or, I don't think I ever used that set. Whatever. Silliness, I'm spending too much time on this. Forget about on screen either. Like off screen, I shouldn't really be putting a lot of effort into this. But this is it, I I like Neo as a game. I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, I watched a uh, game review from some game reviewers who are known for being entertaining, sometimes more so than some people might say they're not super fair with how they review games. <laughs> like, um. But no, there was a review I watched of this game. One of the big things they said that they hated was the inventory management and how tedious it was. And people in their comment section telling them they're assholes and morons and know what they were talking about were talking about how, oh, it's, it doesn't take that long. I mean, if you, you you bring it upon yourself if you have to go through every single item and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no. You can, you can use menu shortcuts to just get rid of items by the dozen, but really, I think for most gamers, you can't help but wonder if you'd screwed yourself over every time you do that. All right, well, now I well and truly am going to call it a video. And uh, when we come back next time, we'll be doing something else, I would expect. I'm mean, serious. Well, I know what we'll be doing. Ugh. Next time, i got to find out about this uh, Date boss fight. Find out, is it Masamune fighting you together with the guy who wasn't that bad? Like, there was a mini boss that you fought? Because remember... The first level, the uh, there's really only two main story levels, if I recall correctly. The, kind of like this DLC. The first story, you fight that big scary centipede at the end. And the second story mission, well, there's three, I guess, because one of them was just a fight with Maria. And that was all the mission was. But the second mission, 
was okay. The first mission, you fight a big centipede monster. The second mission, you fight uh, kind of a normal boss that's fairly easy if you defeat all the towers and get rid of all the guys shooting at you, and can be more challenging if you don't. And then after you fight him, you fight um, Masamune. So if this is Masamune plus the mid boss in the stage where you fight Masamune at the end at the same time, that might be winnable. If it's Masamune plus that um, centipede, which I've never really figured out, I just keep like keep fighting it, and eventually I just win and lose thirty times and finally win. That I don't know about. I do not know. But the game has been pretty good about not having huge like monsters that take up the whole screen and are clearly meant to demand all of your attention with every attack they do and pairing them up together. All right, Mysterious CG, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.